This is a video on plural descriptive pronouns. Remember that descriptive pronouns are said before the action or main idea. And these sets of pronouns are used for three or more people. So we have mato, which translates to we or us for three or more people. It's the exclusive version of we or us. And by exclusive, I mean if there is a circle of people like you see here, and the pinkish character asked, uh, what are you all doing? The characters would say, we are having a meeting. The meeting is exclusive to the blue characters and excludes the pinkish one. The verb or main idea is iai, or have, so the mato, or descriptive pronoun, goes before it. Mato iai. Oloo mato iai. Sifono. Oloo is the continuous tense marker. And then mato, which is we or us, exclusive. Iai is have. Se is the determiner, which is a. And then fono is meaning. If all of the characters were in a meeting and no one was excluded, then the reply would still be, we are having a meeting, but instead of mato, to exclude somebody, it is tato. tato fono. No one is left out. Everyone is in the meeting. If you're the boss and your workers ask, well, what are we doing? You could say, you all are having a meeting. As in one person speaking to a group and telling them what to do, he would say, you all are having a meeting. Three or more people. Or, olo'o to iyaise fono. Olo'o to iyaise fono. So, to is you all. Three or more people. So, he's saying, I'm going to lunch, but olo'o to iyaise fono. Finally, if you want to talk about a group of three or more people to someone else or some other people and you're saying that they, you're talking about they or them people over there, they are having a meeting, you would say, Olo'o la to iaise fono. La to. So la to is three or more people, them, those three or more people over there.